I'm Tom Fonz, host of The Best List. Today we take a look at the top ten villains in comic book movies. And... Where are we going? Number ten, Scarecrow. Killy Murphy is terrifying in Batman Begins. <laughs> Almost as terrifying as this. I present to you the condom applicator slingshot gun. <laughs> you put this over it, and then you fire. Oh. Nothing fascinates male human beings more than guns and sex. Oh my god, it's Egghead! Dire news, Batman. Egghead is back. Back, I say. This is a radar egg. And the slightest vibration will make it explode. Number nine. The Shredder. The Shredder? What, should I have gone with Toka and Razor? Mama? Oh. Mama! Mama! Nah, they're just... Babies! They're babies! Number eight, Carl Rupert Cronin. He's not the main baddie in Hellboy, but he's definitely the coolest. How do you make a Nazi more evil? You know, they're like the pinnacle of evil, so how do you improve upon that? Oh, right. Number seven, Dr. Octopus. Many of Spidey's villains haven't translated well to film. For example... And... Oh my god, you're a gigantic lizard. Why are you wasting your time making a smoke bomb? But Alfred Molina's Doc Ock is super. Number six, Loki. Sometimes if a villain is really good, you love to hate them. And I hate Loki, so I love this scene. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. Number five, the penguin. <laughs> Danny DeVito is awesome, and this is his best performance ever. Tonight, while their parents party, they'll be dreaming away in their safe cribs, their soft beds, and we will snatch them! Carry them into the sewer and toss them into a deep, dark, watery grave! Scratch that. Being drunk on the view, that's his best performance ever. <laughs> Number four, Lex Luthor. Some people thought Kevin Spacey's performance was boring. Wrong! Others thought Gene Hackman was too campy, but they're all wrong! They both gave great performances, and I'm sorry, the campy? No, 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 no. This is campy. All right, everyone. Chill. 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 Cool party. Lex Luthor is a badass. Great in your day, Superman. But it just stands to reason. When it came time to cash in your chips, it's all good. A diseased maniac would be your banker. Number three, Magneto. Another villain portrayed by two amazing actors and a character that has given us some awesome kills. <laughs> Number two, General Zod. Terrence Stamp was incredible as General Zod. Rise before Zod. No. Kneel before Zod. So, Michael Shannon, you have some big shoes to fill. My name is General Zod. Wait, he has superpowers, but he can't get a decent Wi Fi connection? It's like when I was a kid trying to watch porn on a scrambled cable channel. Ha, ha, ooh, he, ha, ha, ha. And I thought my jokes were bad. And our number one, the Joker. Joker's good. What a kick turn. No, not the Cesar Romero Joker, this Joker. You can call me Joker. 
and of course, this Joker. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. It's... it's gone. Well, that's it for a top 10 villains in comic book movies. If I had to pick the best Joker, I'd have to give it to Ledger. I'm sorry, Jack. We cool? Yeah. Cool. Thanks for being understanding. I love you. You can share, subscribe, and comment. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.